What is up y'all? It's your boy Bren Janowski and we are back at it again with another unboxing. It's one of my biggest unboxings I've done on the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Kitty X Plus large size enclosed 3D printer. What a mouthful. And this is one of the biggest, baddest 3D printers I could find online under $1,000. There's definitely bigger stuff out there if you're willing to spend the money, but this was just one of those printers that I heard had great customer service, easy to use, and it's in, an enclosed 3D printer, so that makes it a lot easier for temperature control and regulation and stuff like that. But let's just get right into it. I got my handy dandy box cutter. We're gonna cut this bad boy open, see what comes with it, see how big it actually is inside this box, and I wanted to take all of you along, so let's get right to it with a good old slice. Right. And bear with me, I don't have a lot of space and this is a huge, huge printer. So let's just get to that. Oh. And right out the bat, it looks like all the accessories are just right here on the top. I'm gonna pull that out and show everyone. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's all just in this top part. So take a look at that. Hopefully nothing falls out. Okay, yeah, but take a look at that. All right, I'm gonna go through this one by one. Let's see what's inside. Slide that back in to just get through this. So I'm super happy to tell you that it does come with one roll of PLA, and that's great because I wasn't sure if this came with any, and I actually went ahead and ordered some, but that's not gonna be here till tomorrow. So I'm super happy that they do include a full roll of PLA with this package, so that's extra nice. I'm just gonna put that on the side. Once again, barely have any space. Looks like you do have your manuals. I'm gonna be going through this a lot because this is my first 3D printer and I know there's a lot of technicality with it. I know a lot of people say it can be easy but it can also be difficult. So I'm definitely gonna go through these manuals. If you watch any of my videos before, you know I normally just throw these to the side but when it comes to something like this, I'm gonna extensively go through these manuals. All right, awesome. Looks like we have our 3D build plates. So these are gonna be the plates for removing the prints and putting them in. And it looks like there's even what they call special leveling paper to help you level out the 3D bed. So that's great that we have that included because you know, like you said, there's a lot of technicalities to 3D printing, but once you get it going, it's pretty easy. So it does come with an ethernet cable, that is awesome, but one great thing about the Kitty X Plus is that this is a Wi-Fi 3D printer. Not all of them are Wi-Fi, but this model is, and it does have Wi-Fi, so I might not need this, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to it just in case. If there's any extra benefit to this, it'll be awesome to just have and to use. Looks like we got some pieces. This, I'm pretty sure, these pieces right here, are for the filament. The filament does go above the printer and it can go inside, but these I believe are for above the printer. I'm just gonna keep these on the side so I don't mix them up because it looks like they are separated. So I just wanna be 100% certain on that. You got your power cable. So this 3D printer is rated for 115 volts or 230 volts, but you will have to manually check the switch in the back and make sure it is on the voltage for your region. Make sure because if you do not, you can severely damage the printer. Make sure you definitely check the voltage. And I'll show you that once I get to that. We have, this I believe is the advanced, um, what do you call it? Filament extruder, yes. This is the advanced extruder for nylon and carbon fiber. But since I only see one here, we're gonna go ahead and see if the normal extruder is already mounted onto the 3D printer. Hopefully it is because it did set it, it, the packaging did state that it comes with two extruders, one for PLA, PETG, and all the different sorts of plastics, and an advanced extruder for the nylon and the carbon fiber. More instructions, like I said, I'm definitely keeping those. Looks like we have, in the pictures I saw this on the side, and it does have magnets, so I'm guessing that this is a side window or something. 
It looks like it does have all the ways you can contact Kitty. Like I said, from what I've read in the reviews on Amazon, it looks like they have great customer support. And if I have any issues, if I have to contact customer support, I'll do a follow video or maybe even a short and we'll show you guys how good they can be. But let's see if we even need that. Put that on the side. Looks like we have our scraper to get our prints off and some various tools, nice. So they do give you like a, a full little tool set right here in the box, so that's nice. You don't necessarily have to buy stuff. Everything to assemble it should be in this packaging. And another flathead screwdriver. And as for the accessories on top, it looks like that's it. So let's get down to the big bad 3D printer inside this box. I am going to just lift this on out, put this on the side. Oh boy, oh boy. So normally I would highly suggest, and I, the manual even says that you should have two people lift this out, but if you're like me and you have no friends, you're gonna have to do it yourself, and that's perfectly fine as long as you take the right safety measures and you don't strain yourself, lift with your legs. I'm gonna put this on the floor so I can do exactly just that. So give me one second, this might get a little awkward, but I wanna protect my back and I wanna uh, encourage others to protect themselves if you do have to lift a package like this by yourself. All right. And there it is. This is the Kiti X Plus large size 3D printer. And it is a big boy. It is a big boy. I thought the PS5 was a big chongus, but this is a real big chongus right here, y'all. And I'm gonna carefully take off this plastic. When it comes to uh, big, expensive products like this, I do like to make sure that I keep all the packaging intact, just in case, in a worst case scenario, I have to send this back for any reason. I like to send it back the same way I received it, just to make everything easy. But they looks like they taped this up pretty well, so I might not be able to do that because it looks like there's tape all over this thing. Well, it's just plastic. If I need to replace the plastic, I got plastic. Woo! Okay, so I think I already can tell from, from the pictures I saw online, it looks like this just slaps on. Yeah, it fits perfect, but I still have these straps in the way, so I'm just gonna wait to do that one second. And I do see the other print head extruder is already mounted on there, so that is amazing. We don't, we did get both the extruders. I was a little bit worried about that, but it looks like they're both there. And it looks like there's even another build plates in there, so it looks like this is all extra stuff and like extra, extra materials just in case and like for extra uses, which is amazing. It looks like they really thought of everything. And I really, like I said before, I went ahead and got an enclosed printer because I don't have the biggest space and it is some, some nylon and carbon fiber can be toxic to print. It gives off toxic fumes. And even the plastic, I don't want to be breathing too much of that in. So when this is in use, I'll have air purifiers running. I'm even going to get a hose to run it out the window if I can, but we'll see about that when we get to it. But yeah, just be very careful when you're 3D printing certain materials because they can give off toxic fumes and nylon and carbon fiber especially will give off toxic fumes. So you definitely wanna make sure you're in a super well ventilated area. But on top of that, when it comes to nylon and carbon fiber, they are affected by humidity and things such like that and the temperature of the room and all sorts of different things. So I didn't want any of that to mess up my printing. So I went ahead and got the enclosed 3D printer because I don't have a space that I can humidity and temperature control as advancedly as I would like. And that could cause my prints to possibly mess up. But I am hoping that since this is an enclosed 3D printer, that it will be able to handle all of those things. And like I said, this is my first 3D printer. So I will, it will take me a little while to set this up but I just wanted to show everyone an unboxing because I couldn't necessarily find online everything that this came with. So I wanted to definitely go over all the materials that this uh, printer came with. And I just wanted to bring you along for the ride. It looks like this will take some intricacies to set up. And so I'll get to that on another video or 
Honestly, I'm probably just gonna set this up and then just do a review video about it. But if you like this unboxing, please hit like, get subscribed and join the squad. We have a ton of more content coming out soon. We're trying to stick to two videos a week for the rest of 2022. And I will definitely be printing off some cool, cool ideas, cool things with this 3D printer. And I wanna be able to show all of you and then you know maybe get opinions from the community about things I could do better. So thank you again for watching and peace out.